Hey guys and girls, so in this video we are going to be looking at uh, extending our previous program, the Hello program that outputted some text to the Minecraft chat and we're going to look at how we get the position of our player and identify uh, certain blocks within the game. This is just going to be another quick short video and then in the next video we're actually going to start doing some cool stuff with uh, blocks and towers and uh, stuff. So let's get going. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to open our previous uh, file. So I save that to my desktop and inside my Minecraft server I've got my coding Python file folder. Um, and then I'm going to launch the, the hello program that we did last time. Um, we'll just recap on that. So at the moment I've got my server running, I'm in Minecraft and I've also got Python 3 loaded. Uh, with the program we did in the last video. If you haven't done the last video, check that out. And there's also a video if you haven't set up your server yet. I'll put links in the description. Um, so in this one, we're just importing mcpy.minecraft as Minecraft. We are creating the connection to Minecraft and we outputted hello world to the chat. So we can just make sure that's still working. Run that and you can see in Minecraft, we get the hello world, hello world, hello world. So we're going to extend this program a little bit today and start to identify where our player is. So the first thing we want to do is we want to import some more uh, modules. So we're going to import um, block, so mcpy uh, block as block. So we just type that out. So import mcpi dot block as uh, block okay and then we're also going to import time like so okay so that's pretty easy we're then going to replace the um, original chat message so we don't want the original chat message so we've got the original match chat message here which is mc.post to chat hello world so we're going to shorten that down get rid of the other two hello worlds and we're going to replace it with um, mc.post to chat. So we've still got that. Um, but inside here, we're going to change this and take out the string that we've got in there. And we're going to do mc.player.get position. So mc.player.get pos. So pos short for position. And that's a function, so you need the uh, parentheses. Okay, and that's fine. Okay, we're going to save that and we'll run it and we'll see what happens. Okay, so on the screen you can see a really long set of numbers. So these are our x, y, and z coordinates, but that's actually quite uh, difficult to read. So we're going to format that and make it a lot easier to understand. So to make this last line a little bit easier to understand and read and actually simplify it, we're going to actually create a variable. So hopefully you know that a variable is essentially sort of a container um, that you can put stuff in. So we're basically going to go um, create a variable called pos. I'm going to set that equal to position. And then in here, rather than having all that, we can just basically call the variable pos. Save it and run it. And there we go. So that just makes it a little bit easier to understand. So like I said, the, the long x, y, and z coordinates are quite hard to read, and that's because they're uh, being shown as floating point numbers. So we're going to use the um, Minecraft API uh, to actually sort them out a little bit, make them a little bit easier to understand and convert them to uh, integers. So to do that, when we uh, dis display our sort of variable, pos equals mc.player.getPos, we're actually then inside... Um, inside this we can actually change it slightly so as it forces them to all be integers so casting in other words so to do that we're just gonna put a new line in and we're gonna go uh, pos equals minecraft dot vec3 
uh, open brackets and then we want int open brackets and then we're going to do post.x uh, close that bracket then we can do a comma and then you get the, you should be getting the picture now we can just repeat this so we can copy and paste this paste comma paste and then close that final bracket and then we'll change these to x y and z like so and let's save this and run it and see what we get now oh we have an error mcopi has no attribute vec3 oh that's because silly mistake capital v on vec3 Vec3, uh, control S, F5 to run. And there we go. So we've got our X is 395, our Y is 0, and our Z is 103. So that's a lot easier to read. So we've taken those floating point numbers and we've casted them as um, integers. So another quite cool thing we can do is we can find out like positions of blocks. So at the moment we're stood on a block, on a, a square of um, dirt. So we might want to find out what that is so as we could do something with it. So for example, um, we can we can do that quite simply by creating a variable. So inside here I'm going to create another variable and I'm going to call it which block. And what we're going to do is I'm going to equal that equals to uh, mc dot git block and then I'm gonna open a parenthesis and I'm gonna say uh, post dot x comma uh, post dot y minus one and then post dot z Pos dot z. So then within inside this what will happen is it will store the uh, the sort of the block information for um, where we're stood minus one so the block beneath us uh, and then we can print this out to the screen and find out that information which I will show you now. So we're going to output this to the um, the screen just using some of the uh, syntax that we've already learned. So I'm going to say uh, MC dot poster chat. Hello world. So MC dot post to chat open parentheses. And we're going to say hello world. Oh. And then we brought in Oh, my keyboard's gone a bit crazy why is it doing that uh, we've imported uh, the module time and the, re the reason what is going on with my keyboard uh, the reason we did that was to be able to add some sleep timers so we can do uh, time dot sleep uh, two and that will display that on screen and then wait two prior to doing something uh, I'm just going to check my keyboard's actually set to UK because that's uh, a little bit odd. Okay, time to sleep two, and then we're going to say uh, post to chat. So MC dot post to chat, and then we're going to say I am currently at. Uh, we're just going to copy this, make it a bit quicker. Currently at uh, pos. Oh, I cannot spell today. Pos dot x. And we'll do uh, y and z as well. And then we'll add another time dot sleep. 
and then we will do which block we're at so we can just do um, post to chat and then we'll do which block okay let's see what this looks like so control s and we'll run it and oh git block done it again I did it again with a capital B. Control S, run it. There we go, you can see. So we've got the original position we're at, X, Y, and Z. Hello world, I'm currently at there, there, and there. And then, two. Cool. Okay. So if you want to know what this actually displays, the poster chat, which block, it displays the code for the um, for the block. So uh, block two is a grass block. For instance, three is dirt, um, four is cobblestone, and so on. And um, you can find that inside the uh, MCPy folder. Um, and I'll show you, I'll put a little description, in, uh, text in the description to show you where you can find that information and it lists all the blocks. So that can be quite useful when you, when you want to select a type of block or you want to generate a type of block. Now one problem with our code is the fact that it's, um, it's pretty messy. Um, it's not very, it's not optimized very well. So we can optimize this and concatenate it. So concatenation is a way to link items together into, into one form. So here we've got, for instance, uh, one, two, three, four different, um, poster chats. And that's, that's really not very efficient. It's like having multiple print statements. So rather than doing that, we're going to concatenate it. And I'm not going to let you, I'm not going to like make you wait and watch me type it all out because that's just uh, mind numbingly tedious and boring. So I'm going to uh, pause here, do a jump cut, and you can see the concatenated bit of code. Okay, so there we go. So this is uh, the text concatenated down a little bit. So we've got one sort of print statement here or poster chat, which is hello world, wait to, and then we've got uh, mc.posterchat. I'm currently at x. And then we're concatenating it with um, position X, which we've cast to a string, okay, plus concatenating it with some uh, another string for Y. And then we, again, doing um, the position cast as a string, and that will allow us to print out um, a much neater URL X, Y, and Z. And then uh, time.sleep again. And then uh, MC poster chat, the block below me is block ID, uh, concatenation and then we've got string uh, which blocks we're casting the which block to which block to a uh, string so which block at the moment is probably an integer and therefore we can't sort of use that like that so we can't print it out so we force it to be a string okay any questions please comment below um, this is just some of the basics I think you should have so as you can get started messing about yourself. Um, like I say, in the next video, we're going to go on and do some automatic uh, automatic things. So we'll like try and uh, build a tower, um, maybe get some force fields up using glass walls around our houses and things like that. So um, it's going to be quite interesting. Stay tuned. Um, I've recorded this one in the resolution of my monitor, which is 21 by 9. Um, I usually do it in a different resolution, so do let me know what you think. And yeah, please like, subscribe and share.